Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Holes and Proud of Phoenix Media. In today's video review, I'm going over the Super Night Flexible LED Strip. This is the SMD 5050 series. This is the non-waterproof version that I'm reviewing today, but you could get a waterproof version. Um, and it also comes with a LED controller box, which I don't have pictured because I have it installed right now. And it also comes with a power supply and also comes with this remote control. So before I go over the remote control, let's go over the LED strip itself. So it has uh, RGB, but it can do different colors. And when you get it from Amazon like I did, it's going to be 16.4 feet. So when you get it, it's going to come in a, in a metal bag or a plastic bag rather. So you get it, it comes on this reel here and you can peel it off. Now the back of the LED strip has this 3M tape. My recommendation is whatever you're going to tie it to or tape it to, it's probably a good idea to get some additional double-sided tape to secure it. So it's a really nice setup if you're going to use it for like backlighting for your TV or for a desk or in the kitchen or the cabinets. In my particular case, I'm actually going to use it for my computer setup, um, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you guys that in action in a little bit here. So here's the LED strips. If you're ever curious on how to combine or trim LED strips, what you want to do is on the LED strip itself, there's going to be like these copper pads here. So if you want to trim it down, let's say you're not going to use all 16 feet, you can cut on the lines here right in the middle, and then you can also get like extender cables to combine strips and so on and so forth. So I'll do a video tutorial on that in the future. And then there's also this dongle here if you want to combine, you know, two strips together, for example. So so you're probably going to be curious about what does it look like when it's in action. So we'll get to that in a second. So let me put this to the side here. And it also comes with this nice remote control. Now the thing is, it does not come with any instructions, but it pretty is self-explanatory once you play around with it. Now one thing I do want to note on my particular unit that I received, this red actually turns the is actually controls the blue colors, and this blue actually controls the red colors. I'm not really sure why that is, but overall it works out fine. It's just these two columns are swapped. So if you were to get this product, Hopefully yours is working correctly, but for the most part, all these buttons work properly for my particular unit here. So that's a uh, some interesting note to fact. So what are these buttons? So right here, this is the power button. So this turns on and off the LED strip. This is like a pause button if you have it in action, like in sequence mode. These two buttons here are like the brightness controls for a brighter or dimmer, depending on what you want to do. And here are these different color sets that you could do. So red, green, blue, white, and then these different shades of colors down here as well. Also down here we have these six buttons called DIY 1 through 6. So basically how that works is if you were to press, press one of these buttons here and then use these arrow keys, you can do a custom color and save it to a preset. So that's pretty cool. And then these other items right here, you've got a quick and a slow. So that's a button that you can press to adjust the quickness or the slowness of the sequence in question. And then this is auto mode. Uh, not really sure what this is yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. And then there's a flash mode where the LEDs are flashing. And then you got a fade, fade three or fade seven. So that means it's fading between three or seven colors. And you can also adjust the frequency, how, how quickly those will fade in and out. And then there's also a jump mode, a jump three and jump seven, which means it's going to literally jump between three colors or seven colors. So let's see this in action. So what I'm going to do is let me just reposition my camera here. I'm going to turn off the lights. And in a previous video, remember I made my own computer desk, so I got my own computer stand here and I actually taped it to the bottom of my computer stand. So I don't know if this is the way it's supposed to happen, but when you have the LEDs off, you have this red glow, but I have it tied to a light switch on my wall here. So when I flip the switch, it turns it on, uh, quote unquote standby mode. And if I turn the switch off, it won't be on. So I have it tied to a light switch that's connected to my uh, power strip basically. So. Here's an example when it's off, and here's an example when I flip my light switch on. Okay, so now, using a remote control, let's turn this guy on. So now we see it's in red, but let me just change it to a different color. So this is like a purple color. Let's do green, red, and then white. Uh, it may look like a bluish tint on the screen, but it's sort of like a bluish white, I guess. Now let's adjust the brightness. So here we go. I'm making it brighter, brighter, brighter. And then here, let's make it dimmer, 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 dimmer. Okay. Let's go ahead and just play around with some different colors here so you guys can see. This is like a purple, different shades of purple. Uh, this one's like a turquoise. That's pretty cool. Green, and then different shades of green. It might not come up that well on the camera, but here's a yellowish. Here's a blue, a uh, red, sorry. Different versions, mag magenta and so on and so forth. And then here's a white and different shades of white and different colors like that. 
Now, let's say you want to do uh, the flashing. So here's the flashing uh, mode. So this is flashing, apparently. Uh, let's do something else. Let's do let's adjust the quickness of the flashing. So let's do adjust that. So there you go. Whoa, I'm gonna have a seizure real quick. Let's do a fade, fade seven. So here's the fade. I'm gonna adjust the slowness of this fade here. So that's pretty cool. So just you know, I think this is pretty cool. If you're looking for some ambience, you know, I see guys they put this on the back of their TVs in their computer rooms, their computer desks, um, in the kitchens, you know, in the garage, on the patio. There's a lot of unique places where you can use this kind of lighting. I think that's pretty cool. You know, in the bar, whatever. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun here. Let's try to jump. So here's a jumping mode, jump three, and then here's a jump seven. So if you're looking for a neat way to add some ambience lighting to your whatever, computer setup or desk setup like I am, you know, I think that's a lot, I think it's pretty pretty good deal. Now, you go on Amazon, there's some, you know, there's a lot of stars on high and there's a lot of stars in low and some people have issues with their unit with the power supply and it's causing issues with the LED strip. I just got this, it's been in action for a couple of days now, so if there's any issues that I have, I will definitely put those issues in the video description in the future if I come across any issues. So, but if you guys have any other LED lights that you guys like, by all means let us know in the YouTube comments and share with the rest of us. So, that is today's video review. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.